Healthcare telling us that they have set up temporary tents outside some hospitals just in case they're needed to treat patients. And of course, as hospitalizations increase, so do the amount of 911 calls and ambulance trips to the hospital. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King finding out tonight Bay Area ambulance companies are now reporting some of the longest wait times they've ever seen when they arrive to drop those patients off. When paramedics transport patients to hospitals, their job doesn't end until that patient gets checked in and into a hospital bed. During normal times, that process takes 30 minutes. Now, it's taking hours. The wait can be anywhere from 30 minutes to five hours. Clara Reynolds is the president and CEO of Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, which owns and operates TransCare, one of several ambulance transport services in Hillsborough County. She says back on April 1st, TransCare took 175 calls for transport. Yesterday, August 5th, they took 291. Not every one of those is directly related to COVID, but we do have a lot of individuals that are complaining of symptoms that could be COVID related. The problem is many of the other transport systems are facing the same influx, which is creating a major backup at our Bay Area hospitals. Patients are waiting longer for bed spaces, which ties up EMS crews in the hospital bays, and that leads to more missed calls. There are some days because of those wait times um, that we miss more calls than we're able to actually serve. And it's happening all over Tampa Bay. Dr. Andrew Wilson, chief medical officer at Morton Plant North Bay in Pasco County, says wait times can be long there too. My particular ER has 28 beds and a small fast track area. Uh, we may have uh, upwards of 40 or 50 patients in that department at any time uh, because we're so busy. And so those patients end up in uh, hallways, uh, other areas. But an important message he shares is that if you are truly dealing with an emergent situation, they will get you in. We still had a, an acute heart attack. We immediately were able to get that patient into a space um, that was appropriate to get care. That message is the same from all of our Bay Area hospitals, but they're also urging people, if your situation is not emergent, to head somewhere else. Our ERs are full, and if you're coming to the ER and you have a sprained ankle and you want to be seen, yes, you might wait longer than you typically would wait. Pushing options like urgent care, telemedicine, and making appointments with your primary care physician, and also pushing vaccination. The vaccines are absolutely working. Uh, yes, there are occasional uh, breakthroughs and some patients still do get sick despite vaccination. However, they're consistently less sick, less likely to end up in the ICUs. McKenna King, ABC Action News. And a reminder from the Crisis Center tonight, which was featured in McKenna's piece here. If you are struggling with an emotional emergency, call 211 instead of 911. It will put you straight through to someone who can help you.